everybody. We're live. We're back down here at the bait cave trying to get this thing just right so it doesn't fall over midstream. So, yeah, welcome back to the live feed. We are uh, back down here in the bait cave once again. It's been a very, very busy weekend. Um, spent the last two days down at Lake of the Ozarks fishing what is known as the Big Bass Bash. So, um, a lot of people, a lot of people, it's always a big turnout. Um, it's a good time, good to get back down to the lake with friends, you know, that's more what I see this event at, is as, you know, anything else. Um, sure, you can go out and win $100,000, but you got just about as good a shot as uh, getting struck by lightning almost. Uh, I think from what I saw on the leaderboards, Oh crap, what was it? A six six sixty something? Won it six sixty seven? I think. Leave a comment down below if you know. There was another one in second place, I think that was like a six sixty two or six sixty. So first and second were pretty close. So but out of however many anglers there was, probably in the thousands, probably close to two to three thousand. Only nine six pound fish caught. Two day event. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of baits in the water at any given time. So that rolls into the next segment, I guess, if you want to call it. There's a lot of people that are just mad at themselves. They're they're upset. We didn't catch anything, man. All I can, and this is what I heard from everybody. I could catch two pounders all day long. You could throw the kitchen sink out there in the water. You're going to catch a two pounder. I caught fish on magnum trick worm, which we're getting ready to make, the thick stick, brush hog. Um, was not able to hook up any with swim baits. Um, I heard the winning bait was a glide bait again. All right, big bait. What else did I catch him on? Magnum worm, brush hog, jerk bait, jerk bait. All right, here it is, fall time. Jerk bait along the docks. They'd come out and crush that thing. Caught a white today that I called it out for the net because I don't know what it was. It was taking off, but I had figured out pretty quick that it it wasn't a bass. It was a bass. It was just a white bass. But anyways, like everybody else, caught a lot of twos, maybe a three pounder. Um, anything from shallow all the way in the back to bluff ends, ledge stuff, points, uh, working that jerk bait along um, docks, stuff. I mean, brush, five foot brush, 10 foot brush, 20 foot brush, 30 foot brush. You get bit all across the lake. All right, it's fall. There's, it's, they are just so scattered out. So a lot of people tonight are probably wondering what the hell they did wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. It's just, man, it's all about timing. Right place, right time. And a little bit of luck. So, that's my initial take on the bash. I'd like to thank Mr. Donnie, um, or sorry, not Mr. Donnie, Danny Johnson. Sorry. Like I said, they're not wearing a skirt. I don't remember their name. Thank him for coming out. He spent both days, uh, he boarded the struggle bus right there with me, and by God, he was going for a big fish. He threw glide bait, and he threw the big old six-inch bait, and tried to put him on fish. <laughs> I couldn't even put myself on fish. So, there you go. Had a good time um, down at my buddy Nick's place. Got to see everybody again, some new faces, old faces, ugly faces. Ate a lot of food. A lot of food. Everybody else drank a lot too. <laughs> Not me. I'm getting too old for that crap. So yeah, uh, I started off day one way too damn early. <laughs> Put in a hurricane deck. I was like, man, I know what it's going to be at the lower end. They got the boat races. They got people. All right, I'm going up to the up the river. Same thing, caught a lot of fish, a lot of two pounders, a lot of little stuff. Kind of was doing a lot of snooping around, looking for stuff this this spring, I guess. 
if I fish AIA next year. Um, just doing a little, little drive around, a little looking. Same thing, brush, bluff ends, just whatever. Two pounders, two pounders, two pounders. Hey, we got people tuning in. I guess I got to look here. Danny, I'm a crazy white boy. That's right. Try to go as fast as I can. Chris, what's going on? How did I do in the big bass bash? I didn't cash check. Didn't do, didn't do crap. All right. Didn't even get the live wells wet. All right. Caught a lot of fish. Nothing big. So we were up river, hurricane deck, got there at like five in the morning. Earlier than crap. Apparently somebody's cell phone was up on the bridge columns up above the takeoff because my buddy Tyler got a video of it. You're, you're trying to throw your boat in the water and you hear this alarm going off above your head. Kind of weird. But anyways, got on the water around five, boated up to uh, our first spot, way in the backs, right? They're in the backs. Everybody says, they're in the backs. Get back there. So we got back there. And I figured that I would have more pressure from other people trying to get back there, but not really. Had a nice dock back there. It rained three different times while we were sitting there for two hours. Got there really early because Hurricane Deck is notorious for not having much parking. You can fit 15, 20, maybe 30 trucks in there if you're lucky with trailers. But uh, it is pretty crowded. And if that is full, your only other option is to go up to Purvis or go over to Larry Gale or I don't know. I don't know. Got to take a little drive. Same thing up there. Caught a lot of small fish. We just never lost a big fish. Just never had one. And then, uh, you know, when that day was over, went back to Nick's, restrung some rods, kind of got reset. And uh, day two, we put in at uh, Graboy's Mills. Put in at the Gravis ramp. Ample parking. I don't think I got out of bed until about 6.15. It was nice. Very nice. Slept in. Same story. A lot of people. Wow, there's a lot of you guys down there. Gravois, Main Lake, all the way to the dam, Alhana area. Jesus Christ. I know they made that many bass boats. For the most part, everybody was on their P's and Q's, being nice to everybody else, giving everybody room. But then you had a few of these other guys. Mr. I own the lakes. That's probably the biggest reason why I don't fish the bash that much. One, because I'm not on fish. Two, because I hate dealing with stupid people. But anyways, I didn't throw any tungsten across anybody's bow. I just played nice. Cut me off. That's fine. I don't care. I just saw three other people leave that spot. So, that's the bash in a nutshell. You know, it's a great turnout for the lake. Pretty damn windy. And congratulations. I heard it was a kid from somewhere out of, out of state. Won it. 100,000 bucks. It's a pretty good time. Pretty good amount of money. But next year, they have the bash on Lake of the Ozarks and Truman Lake. So, my ass gonna be on Truman if I fish it. Guaranteed. I think you got way better odds of catching any bigger fish on Truman than you do LOZ. But that's just my thoughts. I'm probably wrong. Usually am. Who all we got tuning in here? All sorts of guys. Bill, Brody, Bill, what's up? What am, what am I brewing tonight? Okay, so yeah, I'm not just here to talk all night because nobody wants to hear that shit. Um, I have noticed that my inventory of these fancy guys in which a lot of people I talked to were throwing these, not exactly mine, but these baits. The also, uh, I call them the thick stick, all right, magnum version of the trick worm. Straight up green pumpkin. 
Simple as hell. Works in the fall. We got our production manager down here now sporting the brand new Elite Angler hoodie. This is my old one, but a new one. There she is. Come on in. Come on in. Don't drip the wine. All right. Elite Angler hoodie. See, look at the color difference. Yeah. Faded versus not. But anyway. But this is after two very hard, very long years. Yes. <laughs> It's actually worn pretty well. It's it's worn very well, and I think you have worn it just as much as I have. Uh oh, we got Nick watching. We gotta shut up. All right, quit talking bad about Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Are you still hungover? <laughs> the boy was sauced the other night. It wasn't even dark yet. I was not even responsible for most of it. You brought all the booze down, didn't you? No. Anyway. Just most of it, not all of it. Yeah, a lot of people were saying they were catching them on the uh, bag and trick worm. If you're straight tailed and do nothing worm, you know. I tried to ribbon tail. I didn't have any luck. Um, jig, not much luck. I don't really know what the rest of the people caught them on. If you all know, chime in, but I've heard glide baits, swim baits, big baits, under docks or, you know, bluff ends, stuff like that. That's what I heard was produce the big fish. I tried all that. Didn't have a damn bit of luck. Like I said, ooh, about to flash that one. Probably just a timing thing. Be careful with your uh, end. With my who? With your end. It was wiggling. It looked like it was undone. And all this? Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's okay fish. It's okay fish. Nick said he wasn't hungover. Wasn't hungover. I wasn't hungover, but I should have been. I woke up with a damn headache again. You didn't anyway. even have the fun. I didn't even have the drinks. Oh. <sighs> Looking bait looks like a great shaky. Yeah, it's a great shaky head worm. Ask Nick. It's just a little bit shorter than your normal zooms version, um, but half inch fish ain't gonna bite it because it's a half inch shorter. <sighs> yep, had a good weekend fishing the bash. I was on the boat on the on the boat. I was on the fence about even fishing it, but I talked myself into it. Because you all didn't talk me out of it. We did a terrible job trying to talk you out of it. Yes, you all did. <laughs> yes, you all did. A very terrible job, and that's fine. My bank account thanks you for it, and the Terrells thank you for it. <laughs> They're the ones that put on the tournament. Yeah, also in the bash, there was only one time slot where a three and change brought home money. Every all the other time slots, you had to have at least a full pounder to get a check. I didn't even have hardly a three pounder, so nothing like catching a good a good tournament fish, right? That's a good fish. That's a solid three three and a quarter. Boy, I'll take five of those on any hard day all day long. You take that thing, you unhook it, you just chuck his ass back in the water. This ain't gonna do any good. It just hurts. Poor fishy. The poor fish. So what do you want to make besides green pumpkin? Actually, I got quite a bit of remelt here. I can blaze back down. Um, we fill that midnight rain in there. You can. Midnight rain worms. You want some dirty Ooh, money worms? Hey. Anybody want dirty, 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 dirty money worms? That's kind of a nighttime thing, but need to make some watermelon candy. I got some green pumpkin red. I just pulled them out of the boat. Mm -hmm. Nick Love tuning in. Who else we got? I can't read from this far away. Bill tuned in. Yep. So the bash was good. It was fun. I saw just from looking at, call it the leaderboards, Scott Danick Jr. and Sr. was on some fish. I think between those two guys, they took home six different checks. Yeah. They were banging out four-pounders, three-pounders. Mostly four-pounders. So, 
Yeah, I bet they probably went home with a couple grand at least. They were on some fish. Good thing it wasn't a five fish tournament because I would have lost. Bad. Very bad. That's all right. I think the rest of the year, yes, well, at least until November 7th and 8th, I'm on Truman. No more like in the Ozarks. Done. Does anybody know when does Joe Bass, Bass and Bob Winter Series start up? What do you give me that look for? Don't look at me like I know when stuff starts. Oh, you give me that look like you want to do wood. I can't look that stuff up on my phone because you are tuned in through my phone. And mine. And yours, yes. <laughs> Hers is the hot spot, so Here, we are phoneless right now pretty much. We have we don't have the Googles. Yeah, so that means uh, winter series is coming up soon. Hey, Nick, has Eldon fished their first tournament of 2021 yet? If not, go look up Eldon Bass Masters, or you can still join. Um, yeah, they, you guys have, haven't you? I think you have. Eldon's 2021 started here recently, their season for points. A lot of those guys have been purchasing some baits from the old bait cave. Hopefully I can get one of them to come down here and put some damn electrical in my house. I think we need to remelt this. Getting a little, a little chunky. A little skinny. Okay. When we do that. Yes. What do you do with your old baits? I throw them back in the vat. As long as those baits don't have a lot of moisture in them. You know, if you see baits you left in your boat and they swell up 10 times bigger than what they were when you brought them, yeah, those are no bueno. Everything else? Throw them back in the vat. What do we got here? Nick Alt says yes. Well, guess what? Yes, yes. You gotta give me some description because I don't forgot what I was asking. Bassmaster started. Oh, have they had their first tournament? Yes. Okay. Well, still, go look up Elden Bassmasters if you want a circuit to join in. They do a lot of night tournaments on Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, open night tournaments. You don't have to be a member for that. Thank God, because I've done a lot and I've donated to the pot. Other than that, yeah, Bass and Bob, Joe Bass. Winter time on LOZ Truman. I don't think there's a winter series on Truman. You know. Yes, yeah, Sunday, November 8th is the second. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so there you go. What's in what? Uh, I don't know, that's yours. Master Carton Label Bill Duck I have no idea, girl. Dress to. Oh, your mama. I don't know these things. I don't know how to work where we have box, but um that's off topic. Anybody? <laughs> these are just prototype tests, but you want a gold shiner? We tried to do some dusting in a in a in a mold, didn't turn out as good as we thought. It's still coming off too. So another thing, I threw swim bait this weekend. Yes, not a lot, but I threw it. And uh, we've since made upgrades to the swim baits since the first batch that's gone out. The eyes on the swim baits are now super glued and I had no problem with the eyes. If you've got some of my swim baits and you threw them, did the eyes stay in? They should have. If they didn't, go back and get them. They're in the water somewhere. Boy, it just logged on. What were we giving? What were we giving Boyette a hard time about last night? Everything. 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 Well, you know what? He deserves all of it. 
<laughs> I like it when you show up, Tyler. They quit picking on me. <laughs> nah, we had a good time this weekend. Good to go back to friends. You got to feed the people. I did. I got to feed the people. Everybody liked the old Amanda's cooking. I probably shouldn't put that in there, but we done did now. There's no going back. What else do you want me to melt down for you? Oh, I need to make some watermelon candy. That's a pretty popular thick stick. Hey, what colors do y'all like in the Magnum, the thick stick? You know, let me know. Doesn't have to be fall time. What do you throw in the summer? Let me know. Let me know so when you want it, I got it. Let me know. What are you working on? Oh, that is chunky. You just got homeboy yet? You driving like grandma? What the hell? Like three o'clock, and had to go get the dog. What time did you get up after you went back to sleep? Uh huh. Like nine or uh huh. I can't pick on you when you go to bed. At hey, <laughs> dude, I was tired. I was out. I gotta go back to work just to recoup. <laughs> I gotta go tell other people what to do. Candy. Watermelon candy. Um, well, we burned through it pretty quick. Depends. Have some up there. I might have some remelt, maybe. No big bass, boys. No, ain't nobody got no big bass. It was tough. It was damn tough. I. You kind of got to swing for the fences, but you need to at least catch something. What you got? Pretty hurt. Watermelon candy? That looks like green pumpkin blue. Uh, it's got green there. It is All right, let's see. What do you got? This is what we like to call watermelon candy. Okay. Well, I see Boom. More of that. See? Remelt. Put this back in the thing. Heat it up. Shoot it in your mold. Bam. Done. There's some in that back corner, though, but it's got blue highlight in it. Fancy. It was stupid. What was stupid? Yeah. Everybody crashed early last night. It was kind of nice to sleep in until six. Hey Nick, what color do you like in 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 the in the, the, the worm? Huh? Hmm? Why don't you tell everybody on on live feed? Tell them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Goddamn DJ Butler signed in. We got work guys looking at me now. Shit. Oh, got everybody tuning in. So we're just making magnum trick worms. I'm about out. I got a bunch of green pumpkin red, but it was in the boat. And it got used and it got bit. Uh, green pumpkin brush hog worked for me. In brush. Or not in brush. Is this still kind of the blue highlight in it? Uh, nope. That is good for remote. Okay. Wait, this doesn't have purple in it, does it? Yes, thumb bum. Yes, bottom. it does. Thumb bum. Now that might have the blue highlight in it. Nope, it don't. We're good. Uh, yeah, green pumpkin brush hog, which I might need to make some more of those. Yep, Tyler, I caught a lot of fish on that darn jerk bait. The special color one that you saw the other night caught a lot on the jerk bait. Um, those fish are that it's like they wanted to eat, but they didn't want to chase. That's I could not get bit on a crankbait, spinner bait, anything moving. That's probably why glide bait works so good. It's a big old freaking meal, doesn't move, you can stop it, whatever. It's an easy big ass meal. That's gonna make them come up and eat it. Jerk bait work. Um, what else did I have tied on? Crank baits didn't, spinner bait. Everything. I had everything tied on, but yeah, that's about all that worked for me. So, if you want to win the bash, you might need to do some investing in these big swim baits. I take that back. Danny did have one bite it. And it pulled his panties down. Broke him off. We're going to say it was a catfish. 
That's what we're gonna say. Right, Danny? It's catfish. Saw the whiskers and everything. <laughs> I mean, crack snapped his shit off. Like, hell, I didn't know you were hung up. I could have went and got it. <coughs> that was a bite. <laughs> crap. So, yeah. What'd you all get bit on? Ain't no worry. You can tell you can tell everybody it was just the bash. Don't have to give me GPS locations, but I had most most of my luck was with jerk bait and soft plastics. You know, if I had some jerkies, what I call jerkies, flukes, can't call them flukes, whatever. If I had some of those made up. Huh? I didn't use my jerkies. I don't have, but probably just a handful of those made. Period. Oh, swim baits look good. Yeah, so the swim baits that I was throwing, I don't have any here. I mean, there's a six inch, just I don't have the color down here. Um, I found out what blend I'm finally going to make them out of. The difference between the stiffer blend and the blend that I'm going to use. The action on these is is good. It's got a nice nice head wobble to it, and the tail thump's pretty good. Um, I was thinking I need to make this with floating billing and make it like a wake bait. Sit right on the surface, make a little wake. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You can stop it. Ooh, ooh, you could. Oh man, I didn't think about that. You could stop it. And that big old fish would be like, you know, like a spook. You come on up, just gargle that thing down, and then probably spit it right back out. Because <laughs> that is my luck. Oh, that looks good. Tastes like crap. <laughs> Not responsible for what the baits taste like. They just look good. Okay? <laughs> I was going to say something else. But we might have kids watching. <laughs> I was going to say you got to be responsible for your sponsors, but <laughs> I am my own sponsor. Some of y'all, I sponsor your damn worm addiction. That's right. Tyler. Tyler. Ah, Tyler ain't too bad. Well, he still owes me from the swim baits. Since he didn't make any money off of it. What yeah, the hell? They are pretty, though. Well, they are pretty. Maybe a lot of people, with some good colors, with some pretty colors. I guess I got a custom make one for Nicholas. I got to try that whenever I get time. Uh, oh yeah, they look good. Damn, that one I made, the, cop, the brown top one, pulled it through the water. I'd eat it. I would eat it. So, what'd y'all throw? Come on, you didn't tell me. Do it, I'll throw a weight version. Danny, yeah, uh, you, you just... All right, it can be done. Yeah, I still got floating blend. I can honestly say, Danny, I have never seen anybody throw a rat before. Hey, it's got great action. It looked cool. <laughs> I've never, nope. Might work if Vaseline anything. Throw a hot dog out there and get it to twitch. They'd probably eat that too. Corn dog out there, catch you dirt fish. <laughs> dirt fish. Yeah. Catch whatever you want. Do you need microwave too? Nope. Don't need nothing. That would be something there. We talked about the uh, the floating swim bait. I don't know anybody that makes floating swim baits. Didn't you know that was an option? Everything's an option when you're making Most things. everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, welcome to my lair. I can make you whatever you want for a price. <laughs> I tell you, Wisdom was giving me crap about these custom made baits that we made. Well, Wisdom can bring his ass down here and do it himself then. 
Shots fired. Shots fired. I don't know if Wisdom is watching, but he probably will sometime. Shots fired. It took you three hours to color match that son of a buck. They look good. Class. He'll end up saying, just because that's off, just to, just to fuzz, that's why I didn't catch that $100,000 fish. Mm -hmm. Excuses, excuses. Probably because you was hung over. <laughs> oh. We have fun with all of our fishing friends. We're all weird. We're all messed up. These are starting to get a little warm. Mark, what's Mark say there? I can't read this this far away. Looks good. The one above that. Oh, uh, I've thrown a rat. I had one follow it up. That was a five or better and never had another offer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't eat nothing with a pink tail on it either. <laughs> uh. Might be that nasty kitchen sink messed up junk all day. Who did? Mike. Mike Payne, I threw. Oh, that is not endorsed. It was made here. All right, you threw that all day today. You did. What? Where's the check, man? You said that is gonna get me a check. Now, I did not make up that name. That that is not endorsed. But if you would have won, might have to work something out. But you didn't. So that is name. I got more of that crap over here somewhere. That's. That is the epitome of every color, of every rainbow, of every scent thrown in together, melted all up. Nope. Nope, ain't gonna make that no more. That stunk my house up. Ventilation or not. That stunk. Who came up with that name, Bob? Mike, you ever come up with that name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not going to be on no website at all. Pretty sure that would get flagged. Person making the website. You want what? <laughs> what? No, just let it go. All right, I think I need the microwave though. Mr. Adams, what's up, man? Glad you got your stuff in a timely fashion. You're welcome and did endorse last night with some drinks. Yeah. Uh-huh. We was all feeling well. Everybody else was feeling pretty good last night. I was tired. God damn, I was tired. You got... Man, I can't read that far away. You got molds for a bigger worm yet. What are you talking about? A bigger, fatter trick worm? Nope. I know how much I done spent in molds. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't need no more molds. If you all want to give me some molds, we can talk about it. No, he's, I think he's referring, uh, like a bull tail worm. It's, it's like that, same size, but yeah. No, I don't have any, I don't have any, uh, any of those. I don't have any speed worms yet. I'll get there. I don't have any baby brush hogs. Don't have any of that stuff. My birthday is coming up here about uh, three weeks, end of October. So, you know, it takes about two months to get them made. So you're already behind the ball. Oh, another thing is, uh, I'm going to have to get some batteries for the old boat. Y'all know any good battery people. With discounts, hey, hey, you might get some worms, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna make the jump from the AGM to the lithium. Just see what we got out there, see what the warranty is like and where they're coming from. Don't need no China made stuff, but it's all probably made in China. I don't think there's it's in USA, Whew. it costs more than a damn boat. Boy, yeah, that's hot. That's going to burn the birds down. Yep, two days of fishing out there. 
You know, my boat is very graph heavy. It's got a lot of TVs. It came that way. Um, had problems with it yesterday with low voltage. I mean, getting pretty low to where the motor, you could tell, was not happy when you went to crank. Um, got today where I run the big motor for a while, just try to help juice it up. And yeah, I've got four graphs on my boat. Is that overkill? I don't know. Could you use another inch? But anyway, I only ran with like two graphs on because I was getting so low. 11 volts, 10 and a half. It was getting pretty low. Moving on up. No, well, I wouldn't say moving on up. Just spending more money. It's a boat, right? Bust out another thousand. Well, this is not a thousand. This is bust out another two, three, four thousand. Whatever you want to spend. You want to get the top dog batteries? They're like fifteen hundred pop, or more. No, they're more than that. So whatever. If anybody's got experience with lithiums, let me know. I'm gonna have to go down that road. I got five batteries in my boat. Five Group Thirty Ones. Five. Cranking battery and the graph battery are hooked together. So that should have been plenty of juice to run all the stuff all day long. And it has been. I think I got a bad cell or something. So whatever. Get that knocked down to full batteries. About 300 pounds less. Because this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, gain another inch, as they say, a couple more miles an hour. So, we'll see. Yeah, I'm about ready for another color. I looked at this for too long, but it is hot. Wow, that is hot. Do me a favor. Do we need a different mold, too? No. Did you put your uh, new, put your new cord on there? Yeah. Get a little toasty down here. Oh, Nick Rumball watching. What's up, man? Still working up northwest, I guess. Four, yeah, they're expensive, man, Mr. Reader. We'll see you later, Mr. Payne. Yeah, she's a good cook. She knows how to cook. Nick's going to be eating high on the hog, literally, because he's got like three pounds of prime, smoked prime rib left in his refrigerator. I bet you don't even know. Now he's getting up to go look at the refrigerator to see if it's in there. Mac and cheese in there, too. Mac and cheese. What else is in there? Potatoes. Potatoes are gone. Potatoes are gone. Asparagus. Asparagus still in there. <laughs> that boy's going to be playing <laughs> PUBG. <laughs> Happy as a sow in mud. All right. That's fine, because I got another shot or two there. So what's everybody else's plans for the rest of the year? Any tournaments, any fun fishing events, vacations, going north, going somewhere? I wouldn't go north anymore because it's starting to get cold here. Smally weather, I guess if you want to go ice fishing, that's... You think you could do that, honey? Ice fishing? Sit out on a big old lake in a hut? Yeah, if you've got me a hut with a heater, I'm good. Yeah. I'm keeping my butt warm. I'm good. That's a lot of real estate to keep warm. Hey! My gloves falling apart. That's why I like these hoodies, because it goes down the butt to keep my butt warm. An extra long. Tell everybody your butt, honey. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Because it would go down to my knees and keep everything warm. My butt? No, your hoodie. <laughs> so I kept stealing your hoodie. Talking about my butt on live TV, man, that's kind of weird. I ain't got no booty. Is my mama watching you? Is your mama watching? Probably. I haven't seen her pop up yet. Yeah, but she, she stalked her like that. She's tricky. She's tricky. I hear a dog. What is it? Where's your ball? Where's your ball, Ranger? Where'd you go?
Other than having some low voltage issue problems, I got some updates to do on some units, but that's never ending. It was a uh, boat ran great. Old Evan Rude's got some ass to it, even though they don't make it anymore, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Everybody gives me shit. I don't care. Pushes that old Z521 plenty hard. Alright, so I've had enough of this color. Now we're going to switch over to watermelon can. I mean, I'm like out of thick sticks, period. I've got like 10 of them over there. I don't know what happened. My production manager was not on the ball. Didn't tell me you can kill it. That I was about out. Yes, I did. I told you two weeks ago you was out. Well, luckily nobody's been ordering it, so <laughs> that's hot. I stick my finger in there one more time. Yeah, it's so hot. Here, thermometer. Oh, thermometer? Uh -huh. It's right here. Nobody likes telling me what, you know, on live TV, what colors they like throwing. All of us fishermen are super secretive. We don't like to tell everybody else what we throw. Warm, what is that? That's fine. We like it hot. Wow, that injector is very warm. There's some heat stabilizer in there. Makes it shiny. Makes it nice and shiny. Makes it smell better. Oh, Taste better. Oh, what do we got here? Mr. Wobbit Muffy is tuned in. Mr. Wobbit Muffy. He tried to be all quiet when he woke up this morning and it don't work. <laughs> Robert, your alarm was going off this morning. It woke me up, by the way. And all I see is his hand pop out of the, the covers. <laughs> We're reaching around on the floor. <laughs> Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> I was laughing when I was asleep. That was funny. Shut that damn thing off, would you? That is hot. It's getting to be just about two gloves here. Whoop, did a little flashing, that's why. I got a little flash and we'll show the camera, but that's okay. All that can go bye bye. So, the last batch of. On cue, air compressor, green pumpkin, thick sticks. Boom. How many of these have we made so far? A hundred? Feels like it. Pretty close. All I gotta do is shoot this ten times. Wow, that's hot. Five, ten, twenty-one, thirty. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. Times five. Whatever that is. Seventy. Seventy. Made seventy. Go a lot quicker if I wasn't talking, but I've heard that before. Brandon got to get a new boat sold. Mine missing out on fall. Yeah, well, fall fishing is great and it sucks because, like right now, everybody's experienced. Um, these fish are scattered, they are not positioned anywhere for any reason. There's shad in the backs, there's shad out on the main, there's the fish are everywhere. They're in 20 foot of water, they're in two foot of water. So there's nothing, there's no current. You know, the bait is not all in one area. There's nothing to really push the fish in one spot. All they know is it's cooling off and they want to eat. The, the bowls are hot, don't touch them. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I was gonna put that in the middle. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too good. No. I know. A for okay. effort. Here we go. That's right. A for effort. There is no A in effort. So, yeah. I kind of like, um, you know, my next thing I guess I'm looking forward to is won the championship at Truman. AIA. And then after that, 
I had a great time last spring with winter time. You know, 35 degree water temperature. I did not throw the A-Rig much last year. For some reason, that bite just didn't seem to kick on on Lake of the Ozarks like it normally does. Usually you see people bringing in 26, 28 pound stringers on the A-Rig. Did not happen last spring. Not at all. People were catching 20, maybe a 22 here and there. But it was all jerk bait, um, bottom creature bait. I don't know why the A rig just didn't seem to didn't seem to produce. It wasn't for a lack of effort. Everybody was throwing it. I saw two guys throwing the A rig today in the same boat out of a fishing ski. It's got the windshield in between the two people. Man, I would be hooking that. Oof. How does that work? Two people throwing an A rig? You can do it. Bud. It's going to be done all winter long. Now we are shooting the oh so popular and oh so productive watermelon candy. These molds hot, very hot, hot. So, yep, this weekend was a good time. Fishing the bash. Didn't have any luck, but I got to see most of my friends and all that sort of stuff again. Man, they got to feed the people. I don't think we scared Bob's new girlfriend off too bad. So, she was good. Yeah, and learned a new name for a bait, apparently, or in color. I'm not going to call it that at all. No. A lot of people, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but most of my swim baits that I have sold were probably wet this weekend uh, fishing this thing. A lot of people that I talked to had, uh, I wouldn't say they had great success with it. The baits themselves held up, which was my biggest concern. And for some reason, they just <laughs> fall apart, but they didn't. They worked out pretty good. So, yeah, it's a good weekend all in all. Now I got to go back to work and relax. Get, you know, get my energy built back up. Physically, I'm going to go relax. Mentally, no, not so much. We have schedules and we have deadlines and we have budgets, all of which are really small. We got to go work because we got boat payments. Boat, God damn it. Boats are not cheap, my son. It's still hot and I keep touching it. Anyways. Build up your chef hands. My chef hands. Mm -hmm. No. I'm good. You just need to get your dust to warm it off. I know. Seeing well, my thumbs pattern. get my thumbs get stuck in between. Well, these get stuck in between the molds. And... Yeah. Yeah. I know. Right handed. Though. So, anyways, we'll probably shoot a few more of these and probably go ahead and sign off the old live because. Been a busy weekend. Um, I do have a few videos. Okay, so I was recording during the bash. Nothing too greatly exciting. I'll uh, probably just put up like highlights and all that sort of stuff from this weekend. We caught fish. Caught fish. But no bigs. We didn't get that 100,000 on camera this weekend. But that is a... Okay, give me a righty. This is getting too hot. So, yep, I got uh, the 100. Uh, so, the 100 subscriber giveaway is over, was over, made those baits. They have been sent out. They have probably reached their destination. I need to check on that. But they ordered 100. Those would have worked this weekend, probably. Green Pumpkin Red, AB Worms, the 10 inch. Ribbon tail. Those went to Maryland. So, what's this back here? Did we forget some baits for wisdom? A little bit. But he don't like them, so. 
So that video is coming up. The 100 giveaway, just showing making the baits. Um, other than that, I've got to do a lot of editing on this big bass bash giveaway video or giveaway, big bass bash video. Danny and I go out and just. Ooh, I about dropped that. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. White save. boy got moves. Good save, my love. Okay. Air compressor, don't fail me now. <laughs> sure. Tip, got a couple videos coming out to the YouTube channel. Make sure you go and subscribe to the YouTube channel, all right? I got 900 damn people like this page. Go subscribe. That's, that's my advertising right there. <laughs> Good job, honey. Go subscribe or I'm going to whip you with a big stick. Tell you, you behave over there. She says you promise? I'm just sitting here sipping my wine. Mm -hmm. She says you promise? Where are you going to find one of them? I don't know. Did you flash that one? Yeah, I flashed just one a little bit. It'll be all right. It's so hot. Everything's hot. You can flash real easy when it's hot. So, those videos are coming down the pike. Please go subscribe. All that good crap. Uh, so, coming out of the bait cave, we've kind of talked about it, is the jerkies. All right. So, I was throwing a jerk bait um, a lot today. Caught most of my fish on the jerk bait. Um, no, nah, that's a bad example. That one looks like. I guess I could make some, but I don't want to pull out all that plastic. Call it jerk baits. It's it's your it's your fluke. Split tail. Oh god, that's moving. That's making me sick watching that on the video. Split tail. <laughs> Just a five inch. Gonna make this in a floating blend. Put a hook in it. Get it to get buoyancy. All that sort of stuff. Um, this would have worked great around them docks. Because that jerk bait went down about four feet when you really need to be down about two feet just to get underneath the float so that fish can see it. Yeah, that would work good. But whatever. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so maybe next weekend when I get home, because I'm going all through the week, I'll uh, do a little experimenting, researching. And uh, Maybe and make some of those. Yes, Lure Works got one of my packages apparently destroyed in transit. What could you imagine if that box got busted up in the back of a UPS truck driver? There's like six different scents for baits, and they are stout, they are strong. I'd rather get sprayed with a skunk. Whew. You know, that guy probably <laughs> running out of his truck. Because the, yeah, the one you got, they thought it was busted, and it was not. It no. was just that strong. It's all that the way damn through. stout, that garlic. So, if you want baits scented, I will have that capability here shortly when it shows up. Same with the salt. All right, pop quiz for all two of you that are watching: What is salt used for in baits? Give me your answer. Don't care if you think it's right, if it's wrong. What is salt used for in the baits? Stick around on at the end of the video and you shall find out. Boy, if that's not just great advertising or, or hook, line, and sinker, I don't know what this is stuck because it's flashed. Anyways. So, yep, I got salt coming. We can salt dates. Um, do, 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 like all the Yamamoto stuff is. No sand. Huh? No. Well, a lot of people don't know that there are. There is sand in baits. Some baits. Certain baits. Which also help with the salt. But makes them very, very brittle. Great for the bait manufacturer, not so great for the bait buyer. 
and I'm all about the bait buyer. Boom. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anybody say anything? Mm -hmm. Make them sink uh, per, per, per sative? What, what, what Preservative. Is Preservative. I can't, I'm, I, I can't read tonight. For saying uh, salt, preservative, uh, maybe. It's fifties. Maybe. Not for a lot of things. But anyways, yes, my boy got it right. A lot of people have the assumption that are you pouring more wine? Yes. I can hear you getting drunker. It's which is brutal. It's delicious. Most people think salt is used in baits as an attractant, as, you know, oh, if fish hold on to it longer, they're not going to let go. All that jazz, you know, you open up a pack, you get a package, clear package, you can literally see the salt in it, in the package, around the baits. Um, there's two ways of putting salt in the baits. Literally, when you've got this cup of plastic and it's liquid, you put the salt right in it. Um, that's the easy, excuse me, easiest way to do it, but it will affect your color. It'll start cloud, making your bait look cloudy, start turning it white. The other way is just like you see in the packages. You throw salt in the package with the bait. The reason for salting baits is one, for the buyer, it's, I mean, honestly, it's their way of selling you something that's not really what it's for. A lot of people think it's for fish holding on to it. That has nothing to do. Most of your salted baits are Cinco's, worms. Um, some Zoom does salt their brush hogs a little bit. You bite into it, it tastes salty. The reason for salt is to make the bait sink. That's it. That's the only reason. There's no scientific proven but theory that it makes the fish hold on longer. I saw on a power bait um, package proven to make are proven to make fish hold on 18 times longer. Huh? What? How did you come up with that? Did you stick this worm in front of this fish and he held on to it for 0 .013 seconds and yours was 0 .6? I don't know. Bullshit. Huh. There's no way to prove that. I'd love to see him do that to 50 fish and they all should hold on to it the same amount of time. Yeah, good luck. Anyways, salt is there not as a way to make them hold on to your bait longer. It is there to make the bait sink. That's why you're weightless Cinco, right? Why does everybody love Yamamoto's? Well, because they sink fast. You don't have to put a weight on them. Guess what else? One fish, they're done. Because they are loaded not only with salt, also sand. Tear one open. Look at it. I got a big old whiff of that. Yeah. Tear one open. Look at it. Put it under a light. It's going to look glittery. And it's not the glitter in the bait. That's the sand. And I do not put sand through my injectors because that will ruin them in a hurry. So, anyways, that's what salt's for. Just to make your crap heavier. Now, as a preservative, I don't know. I think the best way to preserve your baits is one, keep them away from moisture. Salt does absorb moisture, but your salt packets would be the best thing for that. Salt in the bag itself. It's actually gonna pull water in. It's gonna pull water into your stuff, yes. So, yeah. It's going to draw water into your baits, which is the number one no-no. Make some silica packets. Right. No, it's just, just, just to make them dense, make them sink. That's it. Your Ned Rigs, well, not your Z-Man Ned Rigs. They're made out of some weird stuff. So, but yep, that's the primary uh, goal for salt. Yep, we're going to probably one more shot of uh, 
watermelon candy here and we will be done for tonight. I found out I had a bang sitting down here that was like 90% full. Hmm. So now I got an extra one. I need a fridge down here. Well, those ever go on clearance again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. a little dorm fridge. Oh, I saw like a whole pallet of it at Casey's. Start the ones I like, too. Oh, bang. Mm hmm Oh, I thought you were talking about the little fridges. No, I'm talking about the uh, watermelon okay. candy. Yeah, you don't want to grab these. I was like, okay. No, I'm just showing them off. Let them see my arm here, too. I bet those are going to fall. Oh, I do, too. One of them, I think, are needed. Because they are very soft. Yeah. Just lay them out flat. They're like milk. You got like yeah. you got stuff dripping out the sprue. Yeah, it's I'm pushing it here. <laughs> yeah, give them a few more minutes. Yeah, you're getting weird looking stuff here. They will work. They will fish. What's Mr. Adams say? What's what's Mr. Best thing about the bash this weekend was trading four jigs for ten bush light apples. <laughs> Damn right, you made money on that son bitch. Don't be trading down my baits now for no 10 damn bush light. You need like a whole keg, all right? Custom, custom. That's what you gotta tell them, it's custom. That's what the sign says, bait cave custom. I'm gonna let you lay them out too. Cause I'm not gonna try to hang them. Yeah, still we got one them. more shot and we are done. They can stay in the molds. Here you go, um, I don't know what else I'm supposed to put in. Yeah. Stuff in my mold somewhere. There it is. Mold wouldn't shut. All right. <laughs> Those are like still sprues are still liquidy. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. That one's got a little piece of. Guess what, honey? Look. That's blazing hot. Oh look! Part of your gloves in there. <laughs> I know. That's why I opened it back up. <laughs> it's late. It's been a long weekend. It's been a fun, productive weekend, though. Everybody on the water was pretty chippery, except for the couple assholes that cut me off. I was nice. I didn't say nothing. I didn't ding their boat with a one-ounce tungsten. Ooh, I should have threw that blade bait across the fucking bow. Ripped a few rods of theirs right in the water. Does that make me an asshole? That sounds like an asshole move. Yeah. I get it if there's 15 minutes left before weigh in on an actual fish tournament. Get the bash. Nah. I might have enough here for one. I might have enough here for two. so hot it don't matter. Oh, we tooted. What did Jeff say? I can't read it. I uh, said he thinks Caps is looking for some custom. Caps? That boy made, well he didn't make money. He made some money, yeah. He got 200 bucks. He didn't, uh, of course, entry fee was 185 so, yeah. Some bitch made 15 bucks this weekend, if you don't think about fuel and baits and all that good stuff. So that is it for the worms. We are done making baits tonight. I is tired. I got crap to throw in the truck. Get up at 4 o'clock in the morning again. Yeah, I got to sleep in this morning. Six o'clock. Five thirty. Got sleep now. Oh, so, anyways, I'm gonna end this live stream here pretty quick, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope, hopefully, everybody that did that is watching this that did fish the bash had a good experience. It's a good time. I like it for the social aspect. Get to see everybody. Uh, took out 
Danny, you know, first time I ever met the guy, he's bought a lot of baits from the bait cave. So, um, yeah, threw a bone out to him. He was planning on fishing it, and I guess his boater slash partner had to work. So, got to go out, make a new friend, and uh, we plan on going out and fishing some jerk bait stuff later this, this uh, late fall, winter, whatever you want to call it. So, that's what I like about the bash. There's a lot of people down there. Get to make new friends. So, anyways, we are going to sign off here at the old bait cave. So, hopefully, you guys uh, tune in. Greg, uh, oh, brother in law, Greg, just tune in. Well, thanks for showing up, Greg, because we're about to sign off. So, <laughs> this video will be posted uh, in its full, glorious, high definition over on the YouTube. So, go check out. YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, blah, 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 so you know when I post crazy crap like this. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully we'll be back here again next Sunday, 7 o'clock. Maybe we'll uh, be making some jerkies in. So anyways, thank you guys, and uh, we will see you hopefully next weekend. Watch out for the uh, videos coming to YouTube this week. Later.